What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This one is going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a, of a review in a sense. Um, I'm going to put it under that as a review. But, but it's my, I'm basically going to be talking about a new comic book day. I, obviously as well, by the time you, a lot of you, you guys might see this, it's... Top new comic book day would have gone, but for me, it would have been technically my first free comic book day. Um, only because she rubbed it, I should have bitten. Um, yeah, for me, technically, it's my first free, my first free comic book day. Because the shop closest to me, the tattoo shop, don't, for some reason, don't do it. Um, whether that's, that's because of the size of his shop, um, uh, space, of budget, I don't know. Because obviously, when a shop does new toilet book day, it's, the, for us, the customers... Technically, it's free, but it's not free for the owners. Now, I went to New Dawn Comics in May late for New Dawn Comics Day because they celebrated it. And there's actually two, two, there was two books I wanted. Two books I wanted, but I walked away free. Um, because what the person like the town Lizzie, lovely girl, um fantastic uh, for her and James the owner, fantastic people, highly recommend the shop. Even if they buy anything to the customer service you get for them, fantastic. Um she's a person who wants books because of the other books I was wanted to get. I did pick up a few other books which you guys will see in my next time book haul. Hopefully it won't be as fucking ham as the ham as big as the uh, previous one to like I said, the previous like comic book hole <coughs> there was there was probably another 30, 40 books you guys didn't see and even a graded book you didn't see. Um so, so hopefully you try not to go as heavy as um yeah. But, yeah, so, like I said, this is my first free comic book day. I know for uh, comic book collectors, readers, it is quite a big uh, big deal. I know some shops don't celebrate it for certain reasons, whether it's uh, space finances or there's a channel I watch called the Comic Book Palace, and he's even, he's personally said, he's a, like, when it, the day of New Time Book Day, like, well, I think it's, as far as I know, it's every year on a Saturday. Someone probably put me wrong, but he said, he, he's had more, when it's, I'm going to say it's Saturday, for argument's sake, he's had more profitable Saturdays, non Time Book Day, than actual Free Time Book Day. But no, that even like, he said, like, even when it's free to book day, people said, are oh, you doing the free to book day? No. Great. I'm coming to tell your people, not help myself, but people who only go in specifically free, for the free books. I try and go in to get books I actually want. The free books are a little bonus. Um, like, I could be a ton, like, is it, the, the, was one of all he had was too much. It was like if you weren't buy anything, it was like you get two or three books. Um, but if you was, if you spent things like ten pound or more, if you must got one of everything. I personally did spend technically ten pound or more, but I only stuck to the three books I wanted. I didn't want to be too greedy, and it's unfair on everyone else who was going in. After me, I, I went in, I got there about half ten, eleven-ish in the morning. 
he was still going to be open for another five, six hours. So I didn't want to be too greedy. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was busy for him. Um, I said him, that sounds horrible. It was busy. It, his shop ain't the biggest. Um, me being quite a chunky guy, I felt a bit claustrophobic, and I, I, I'm the sort of person who, who hates being claustrophobic. It's the same reason I don't wear jeans, or, or try not to wear jeans anyway, or suit trousers. Hate free, and believe it or not, suit trousers. So I hate freaking claustrophobic. Um, I was digging through certain sections, which we did. Hope I can remember what books there were. Hope I did the next hole. Um, mate, mum, yeah, and mate, mum, yeah, I'm here. He's your boy Caleb. He was saying me do let swamp thing. I went, yeah, we let like we damn is that. I mean, I was gonna know you're a Star Trek fan. Got like, there's them. Don't know what I needed. Got them. And obviously, like I said, I knew I was gonna walk up snake anyway. Um, two of the books I got. From a friend of a day. One of them I think is actually actually first I'll show this actually. One of them is given away. Well there's two things that well one thing that I don't think it was like they were very sweet, like little packs of sweets. I they made up like mountains, lollies, things like that in. But officially they're giving away these. Um or three times a day, but much. Um, which I thought was quite nice. Apparently, there was about 42 books in total. Um, you can get, I think, um, space, money, everything like that. He was like, yeah. Um, yeah. First book is, I think. One of these series I'm currently collecting, I think this is like a, I want to say, so it's based on a little preview of one story, like one of the story arcs coming in for Star Trek, because it says uh, Star Trek featuring Day of Blood Prelude. Um, which I think the idea the one I am currently collecting. Um, there's, uh, <coughs> I'll actually need to do this. I think, I think at the moment, coming out of like three or four Star Trek runs, um, I'm, I chose two like, to read the IDW one and the Deep Space Nine one. Um, this is to the IDW one. Um, you know, obviously this bit here is what I've made it is where shops can stamp their shops. I sort of like these shop name, these or something like that. Um, actually, I'll choose it out. I've got, I've got a bad bag and I did not stop. I actually put me a bag of board and these things went straight from my nap. Um, uh, so yeah, so you got by the next bit to the current storyline. The Star Wars checklist. Okay. You got May, which is a month in now. Got the, this, what's the dot? The fight number three, Star Trek 8, and Star Trek Annual 2023. June, you have the Star Trek The Fight number four and Star Trek nine. Uh, July, you have Star Trek issue, The Fight issue five. Star Trek ten, Star Trek volume one, Godshot, collective Star Trek one to six. Uh, Star Trek Day of the Blood, five part crossover. So I'm guessing. The fine and the IW1 crossing over. So you have in July you have Star Trek, they have been number one, to find six in August, and Star Trek 11. 
and in September we have start the front and start at 12. Uh, yeah, uh, and also the, uh, one of the stores to put in it is the Lower Decks, which I don't think I actually not actually read. Um, not in a horrible way, but it's sort of, I think I had like so many other books on the go. It was like, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I can got it easy bags, these three syllable bags. Um, that, that book, probably, I will probably pick up lower decks and stuff, so I do, I do enjoy the show. The other book I picked up was, if you know me, I'm a big fan of this character, there's Red Sonja. Uh, this is, I think... What is class as issue zero, but on the free time of the day. Um, I think this is like a. I think this is setting up the. There's a, there's a, there's a, a series coming out in July, which I have put on pre order, naturally, in the top three camera. Um, this is. To do with that, um, one sec. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the thing I like about this is they advertise other stuff. Um, which what actually did actually help with other things I ordered. Um, where is it? Yeah, they wouldn't have. It was like... It basically made me, it made me pull the zinc. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's setting up a story in July. There's that one. I can't, I lost my words on your books. Um, it's like I said, the last bit of really, one of the books I did, you were not saying, was is a funny book, which is currently degraded. Um, and the last book is because we were... Um, I um, one of the books I got was being recommended because of the Red Sonja and obviously this is how Red Sonja started as Conan the Barbarian. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of Conan, but I'm not I don't necessarily hate Conan. Um, but it's... Yeah, it's good. Um, but, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's what I picked up for, for free at comic book day. Um, Blair, I don't know, attended. Um, especially being like my first free comic book day. Um, part of me is already, tell you about the master camera. Part of me is already excited for next year. Um, but yeah, for, for my first, for my first year. I thought it was a good time to do and uh, yeah and, but hope you enjoyed this video guys, ain't a bit different and uh, yeah, hope to see you soon, ciao for now.